One really stark difference with ambient AI is this is really powerful and really is alleviating a lot of the burden that our clinicians have felt when it has come to, to using the electronic medical record. Hello and welcome to the AMA Update video and podcast. Today we're talking about how One Health System is turning clinical notes from the care team into patient-friendly summaries using AI. Our guest today is Dr. Vina Jones, Vice President and Chief Medical Information Officer at Sutter Health, and she's talking to us today from San Francisco. I'm Todd Unger, AMA's Chief Experience Officer in Chicago. Dr. Jones, welcome. Thank you so much, happy to be here. Uh, very curious to get into this use of AI. Of course, you can imagine there's a lot of conversation about AI in medicine these days, but let's just start with where we were before this. What was it about these kind of summaries that inspired you to want to you know, take another whack at how they were being produced? Yeah, so, uh, you know, historically, the information that we share with our patients as clinicians um, is, is very heavily reliant on um, what the clinician, you know, the physician or um, individual taking care of a patient, what they uh, are able to remember from the conversation and then what they're able to, to write down or type into the electronic health record to share with the patient. So um, very much reliant on, uh, you know, clinician recall and uh, their ability to type quickly. It's interesting because as I was looking at the discussion guide, I glanced down and I have one of these patient summaries that was generated through the EHR on my desk from my recent visit to my primary care physician. Okay. What does that tell me? What is that going to look like uh, in a future where you're using AI to create the summary? Yeah. So, um, uh, to tell you a little bit about what we've launched in our system. So we've partnered with an ambient AI vendor um, called a bridge and uh, essentially what their technology uh, allows our clinicians to do is simply um, record the conversation as it's happening uh, with patient consent. Uh, and at the end of the visit, a clinician just types create note. And uh, after Clicking that button not only is a full clinical note generated um, for the medical record, so a note that describes the discussion that the physician had with the patient, um, including their physical exam and ultimately their assessment and plan, but it also generates in patient-friendly language the corresponding or like the, the analogous summary of the visit that can be shared directly with the patient. Um, so that I think is, is really what is incredibly unique about this partnership that we have and about this technology that we've launched is that you know it's not just generating a note for the clinician and for clinical purposes, it's also generating a summary in um, you know, less medical speak, but patient-friendly language uh, that, that really empowers the patient to have the information they need. You really covered two important advancements in that one conversation, which is ambient listening to begin with, which is freeing up the physician to remove mm -hmm. uh, themselves from uh, typing in front of a computer to talking to the patient and then having a patient friendly summary generated out of that. Is this something that the physician kind of needs to go in and look at before they do it? How reliable are these summaries? <laughs> Yeah, so um, yes, uh, ultimately all of the output from, you know, these generative AI platforms uh, as we've implemented them, you know, they they require clinician review. Um, and so our clinicians review both the note content before they hit sign um, and the summarized patient content before they send it to the patient. Um, in terms of reliability, you know, we've heard uh, anecdotally um, that our clinicians are overall quite impressed with the output. Uh, I think there is variability depending on the clinical specialty and how nuanced, uh, you know, that clinical visit is. But um, uh, we've also heard a lot of feedback from patients who have been really impressed about the level of detail that's been captured uh, in the summary that they receive uh, from, from their visit. Tell me a little bit more about that patient reaction. What, what are they seeing in there? What is noticeable to them about the difference? 
Yeah, I mean, I can tell you, uh, you know, one example that stands out is actually uh, a, a patient that had a visit with that uh, with their clinician and uh, shared their perspectives on, you know, I this has been bothering me. I've been having pain here. And, and here's the story of like why and how it happened. And, you know, historically or traditionally, our clinicians who are very busy, you know, listening to patients, trying to type as they type as they listen, that's, that's challenging to do, mm -hmm. right? Um, to be able to just sit back and have, have the AI capture this, um, the patient was very impressed at the level of detail and, and, and really left saying, wow, they really listened to me, right? They really, they, they really heard me and heard what I was, I was concerned about and, and documented that. That was the number one thing as you were talking about that that struck me is that word listening because i was just thinking back to, again the traditional kind of patient's note it was mm -hmm. mostly kind of like action steps let's just call it that there's not a lot of summary right. of what we talked about per se and certainly that sense of having been listened to as you tell your story to the physician that must be very gratifying i imagine to both patient and physician yeah, I really think it is because, you know, at the heart of what we do as clinicians, it's, you know, our patients and their well-being. And um, and yet uh, the cognitive burden of practicing medicine is so high uh, that uh, I think some of these details often, uh, you know, get lost. Um, so having a platform, having technology that can really help capture that and, and bring us back to that part of medicine, that patient provider interaction, I think is incredible, incredibly valuable. And I think that that really is the power of what ambient AI is allowing. Now we talked a little bit about patient reactions to this. Obviously there are benefits to the physician as well in a situation like this, but talk to us a little bit about the workflow. Obviously, you know, with any new mm -hmm. technology that is so critical, how are your physicians actually using this tool and what's their experience been so far? Yeah, so, um, you know, a bridge is being pretty widely used across our organization, but you make some really good comments on on workflow, right? And fitting something new into a practice is, is not without its own challenges. And so when we embarked on our journey uh, to first launch this technology, um, we started with a small group of pilot clinicians uh, from across our organization, different specialties, primary care, specialty care, surgeons, um, and really tested it out, tested our training materials out, um, understood the best workflows uh, based on their experiences. And then it was from there that we started expanding and further scaling the technology. So currently, um, this uh, platform is being used by over 2,000 clinicians across our system. Uh, that's great. And one thing that has struck me is I've talked with different physicians about the incorporation of AI into workflow is that unlike, let's say, the development originally of EHRs, so much energy is being put into what you talk about, which is how do I figure this, how do I work this into the workflow so that it's an asset, yeah. not a burden? Are you, do people notice that the way that you're proceeding with this? I think they do. And, you know, one thing I'll say as a leader, uh, scaling technology in a health system, uh, so much of, uh, you know, implementing EHRs and uh, optimizing EHRs is, is, is sometimes painful for our clinicians, right? Learning how to use a new technology is not easy. I think one really stark difference with ambient AI is this is really powerful and really is alleviating a lot of the burden that our clinicians have felt when it has come to to using the electronic medical record. And so um, the uptake has been pretty phenomenal. And this has very much felt like a pull rather than a push. Like our clinicians want this. They are pulling to get it, uh, you know, whereas uh, implementing an electronic health record, a little more of a push, right? A little <laughs> more of, we need you to do this. This is the right thing to do. And so I think that shift in dynamic with technology in the clinical space is also really profound. Um, and our clinicians are, uh, in general, really satisfied. I love the pull versus push analogy here. And that is, uh, that is a real win uh, for, mm -hmm. for everybody here. 
obviously there's a practical benefit of these types of summaries and they do provide not only uh, notes on what the actual conversations were, but next steps in terms of medication or other kind of uh, treatment options. You're just at the very beginning of this. What do you think longer term that these types of summaries are gonna have uh, in terms of impact on patients? Yeah, you know, I think um, if you're familiar with the open notes movement, uh, the movement around transparency with our patients, right? The obligation um, to share as much information as we can with our patients. Um, the 21st Century Cures Act, the final act that was implemented several years ago, really mandated that all health systems, all clinicians share information with patients. And I think at the heart of that is um, the fact that patients should be considered yeah, you know, and really are a key member of their care team, right? Whether it's um, medication management, understanding their health, identifying potential errors in their health record, I think patients are really uniquely positioned mm. to do those things. And um, and it's also our obligation to give them information in a way that they can digest it to, to be those members of their care team. So I think that's really where the power of AI is in, in helping us provide easily digestible patient summaries that can then help empower patients, um, you know, to be active members of their own health. That makes a lot of sense. What's on your roadmap for the coming year? Well, uh, you know, we're really looking <clears throat> to continue to scale uh, our uh, use and adoption of a bridge of our ambient AI um, platform across our system. So the 2000 users that I mentioned, they we really started our journey with scaling the technology across our ambulatory clinic, clinical user base. Um, and we're now in the process of bringing it to our inpatient, our hospital-based clinicians, um, our emergency department clinicians. So coming this year, we're gonna be scaling that a lot more widely as we've learned about how the workflows differ in those clinical settings and, and you know what the needs are there as we scale. Um, and then we're really excited about the uh, the development roadmap that a bridge has in terms of uh, you know what tech what um, what they're bringing forth, whether it's helping our clinicians with order entry or uh, billing and coding. I think there's a lot more to come, and we are excited to be early adopters in that journey. Well, I'm really impressed with your use of the technology and also the care with which you're scaling it. Uh, across your organization. It's just been so fascinating to hear you talk about this, and I just want to say thank you uh, for sharing your experiences with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, one of the AMA's top priorities is making sure that technology works for physicians, not the other way around. So if you found this discussion valuable, you can support more programming like it by becoming an AMA member at ama-assn.org slash join now. That wraps up today's episode. We'll be back soon with another AMA update. Be sure to subscribe for new episodes and find all our videos and podcasts at ama-assn.org slash podcasts. Thanks for joining us today. Please take care.